Hello friends, welcome back to VStudent blog. So this is my uh, VMware troubleshooting video 2. So in this video we will be discussing about uh, a issue which is a, a production which I, uh, issue I faced. Uh, so I just want to share this with you guys. So uh, one of my, just actually this is related to article KB70788. So uh, let me show the article so this is what is like uh, today when I logged into my vCenter I'm able to see that one of my ESXi box lost connection to vCenter and it's not responding when I am able to when I ping the ESXi box it's pinging but uh, uh, what happened was uh, even uh, I was kind of able to connect uh, the ESXi box using my browser but SSH was not working so when I uh, when I tried to vMotion the VMs, uh, vMotion is not working, saying that I'm getting some uh, like error. So they are not getting migrated. And uh, when I turn off from vCenter, like they are not even getting turned off. So what I done is I just using the browser, I connected to ESXi box and I tried to turn off the ESXi, uh, turn off the VM there, but uh, nothing is happening. Uh, so what I done is uh, uh, as SSH and uh, uh, browser they are not working though browser is working uh, when I do power off it the power off is not happening so what I done is uh, directly uh, connected to ESXi console and uh, using that tech mode uh, I run few commands to turn off the VM so in my previous video I shown how to turn off and uh, turn on a VM using SSH but uh, like in this video I will show like uh, how to turn off or turn on a VM using a uh, tech mode on a console and uh, we will I will share you steps to in this scenario if you are facing this uh, issue like uh, how you need to uh, turn off the VMs and uh, uh, unregister and register on other ESXA box so if you go through this article like uh, even when you connect to ESXA box console you will be able to see the you will be able to see this uh, 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 error messages on the on the console in the tech mode like boot bank cannot be found at the path slash boot bank the path as the boot bank is not available what happens is whatever command whatever you do on the ESXA box they won't be not communicating to the kernel so uh, so if you see here uh, the same issue like symptoms which I am seeing that is same thing was mentioned in this article and this is applicable for um, VMware 7.0 so and this is known issue uh, with VMware so when uh, the SD card or SSD or USB from where ESX is booting that uh, SD or SSD or USB is, a, is a not a good quality or having some defective one so this issue will occur and uh, you are able to see this uh, uh, log details when you when you try to check the logs so here like uh, the purpose is mentioned here and cause is like as I said that this indicates that ESXA kernel is unable to communicate with the USB uh, uh, device due to hardware adapter device so impact or risk is like uh, till you reboot the ESXA box this issue is not fixed there is a no other solution so like uh, the resolution what they mention is like you need to contact your hardware vendor to replace the defective device or uh, SSD or USB whatever it is uh, so as a work around uh, reboot the ESXA host so that it will use the RAM but config will not be saved so ESX does not have its boot bank so as I said uh, like uh, f using the browser you want to turn off or turn on nothing will happen and even if you uh, uh, like if you are uh, like f if you use a windows box and uh, you rdp to the server it will work servers servers will work fine you will be able to ping the vms uh, everything works fine there is no impact but uh, you cannot keep the vms running in such a situation you need to reboot it so so when you rdp to the server uh, or a vm and you turn off though you turn it off uh, uh, on the vCenter or even if you connect to the v ESXi using the 
console uh, using the browser it will show as power down only so the state will not be updated uh, you if you try to v motion also vms doesn't move to other esxa box these are the problems because it's not communicating with the kernel so so what what is the steps we need to follow uh, to move the vms from this ESS, esxi to another that i will give a small demo so like what uh, we need to do is like uh, so first of all uh, let me see my vm is in power on state or power off state it's in power off state so i will just turn it on okay so this is actually my environment i don't have any issue but uh, just want to share this what the steps we need to follow so here you are able to see that my esx is connected so we will consider as uh, uh, zero one is defective. There is no zero two ESXi box, but we'll we'll just imagine that uh, zero uh, that uh, we have a zero two box ESXi box. So if you go to the data store and uh, if you browse it, so the this is the sorry uh, this is the VM which we have issue. Sorry, this is the VM we are going to uh, migrate. So when you see here, when it is turned on on uh, any other ESXi box, the VMX will be in lock state. So that the VMX will be locked by uh, ESXi one. So if you if you if you are a, when you turn off or you didn't turn off and you try to register this VM on uh, uh, register this uh, uh, what do you call uh, this vm on any other esxa box what happens is like uh, uh, it will show as registered but when you try to turn it on what happens is it it won't allow you to turn on as this vmx is locked by esxa1 so what i'm saying is you you registered this uh, uh, vmx on esxa2 and if you want to turn it on as uh, the, the vmx is locked by esxa1 it won't allow you to turn it on so make sure that when you turn off the vm uh, this lock is released so for example we will turn off from console and uh, then we will see whether uh, the lock still exists or not so let's go to browser we already in browser so we'll connect to the the defective oh hold on so actually we need to turn off using our console so I'm already here so let's do it so we'll run the commands vim dash cmd vms vc get all vms when you run this command you are able to see that actually in my previous video I was using the same commands connecting to SSH now I'm directly doing in tech mode on uh, uh, on uh, console so the first one first row is like uh, VM ID and the second is VM name and third is data store and uh, OS version uh, and VMX version all details so the first one is uh, VM ID so but W2016 for W2016 10 is the VM ID and uh, if you see VCH014 is the VM ID so if you want to see the status we don't know whether it is powered off or not uh, so we need to run the command vim cmd vmsvc slash power dot get state id is 10 so it is powered on so I will run turn it off vim dash cmd power off vm id is 10 ok uh, so command wrong vim dash cmd vm svc ok power dot off so now it is powered off so let's let's go to let's consider like let just think that uh, this is the uh, vm uh, esxi2 which is healthy 
I'm just connecting to it. So you also must know that on which data store it is residing. So, so you need to go to data store. So browse data store and uh, is the uh, VM folder. So if you see here when it is power on you are able to see that the VMX is go is logged. So now what we need to do is just right click and uh, register VM as it's already registered so obviously it will show as um, it's already registered so if it is a new uh, it is a if, if it is powered off and uh, on a ESXi 1 and you are registering it on ESXi 2 then obviously it will get registered and uh, when you close this one and go to vCenter you will be able to see that it is registered on other ESXi box just you need to turn it on just wait for a few seconds and just turn it on and it will come up so this is just my experience in production which I just want to share with you guys so just you guys can go through the uh, with go through the VM article which it is uh, like 70788 so I believe this video is informative for you guys thanks for watching bye bye